Have a seat, everybody. You are not far from the drink. Please have a seat. <laughs> are we ready? This is the beginning, yet another beginning of yet another end of yet another successful privacy camp. Can I have a show of hands? Woo. <laughs> nice. I think we can declare it a successful one. I'm uh, quite happy. Um, I'm, I promise, I promise I'll make my speech short. Every year they ask me to do this, to sit between you and a drink. And I'm, I mean, I enjoy doing the closing speech, but I don't enjoy that role because I know it hurts. So I'll try to make this not painful. Um, my name is Andrea Bellu, and I've been in the Privacy Camp Committee for about six years. And I have to say that this year has been quite different. Um, and it's been different because 2024 is an electoral year. Yes, of, co of course. But it's an electoral year in which digital is high on the agenda. Somehow, since the last elections in the parliament, everybody realized digital is critical. Infrastructure, digital is important. And what you've heard from the morning are a lot of visions, a lot of visions that matter and should matter. And we should really, you know, come from today thinking how do we unite this and counter all the other political manifestos that are challenging privacy and trying to push innovations instead. Today, we've tried with the Privacy Camp content to contribute to this, to contribute to potential bridges that you're going to build between you and conversation you're taking forward. Um, we have an opportunity to rethink, to really reimagine, to question our own assumptions, to question status quo and move, to think bigger and move in 2024 beyond that. Um, Together with the content committee, we selected a program that critically investigates the logics behind all types of systems, political, institutional, social, technological systems that have enabled and enable a lot of injustices today and inequalities. We've discussed accessibility in the digital society, data centers, health data, wartime surveillance, intimate image-based abuse, digital justice organizing, collective litigation, immigration tech, just to name a few. We also hosted the fifth edition of the EDPS Civil Society Summit. And I think this is really a nice celebration for the ongoing fruitful dialogue that the European Data Protection Supervisor has been having with um, members of the Civil Society of Human Rights Advocacy. And we feel very humbled from, for what we've achieved here today because it's been the effort of many, many people. Yes, they are humans, the people that you received lots of emails from. And I would like to spend a couple of minutes really showing you those faces. And I will try to start first with the content committee. So I would like to invite Jill on the stage. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> please give her a round of applause. <laughs> Jill is here with us in person and we welcome you this year as the content committee. We've done really, really great work. We have two more members. This is Rocco in digital shape. <laughs> he was here earlier and wait for it. This, <laughs> this is Gloria in printed format. <laughs> so, thank you to both of them. Um, I would like to move on now to show you the people. Hmm? No, because there's more people coming. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I should have given you a heads up. <laughs> I want to show you the people who've made this organization possible in terms of putting food on the table, literally. And I want to start with my colleague Angie, the queen of Orga. Come up here, give her a round of applause. Shubham, you've done all the communication. Please come up here. We have Katarina and Claire who made sure we have plenty of money here to organize. Kiara, Brian, Nevena, Asita, Ella, Sarah, 
Chloe, Jan, Ichasa, Jean, and Vicky, please. Don't be shy. These people worked a lot. Well done. <laughs> and of course, we would like to thank La Tricoterie for having us and making this such a cozy space. And now I will invite Claire to say a few words about a special person. Yes. Not me. Is this working? Yes. Uh, we wanted um, as the field to use this opportunity to say thank you to somebody who's been so um, useful and so uh, key and pivotal to the field. They are friends from the uh, Open Society Foundations, uh, whose term is uh, unfortunately ending soon. So I'm, I'm going to call anybody from the field, from Edry in particular, who wants to join me in paying tribute to Vera. Um, and um, calling you soon as well, Vera, please come up. <laughs> Vera has been um, a really important member of the community, uh, without whom there wouldn't be the actual support to EDRI, but also to many EDRI members, uh, Epicenter Works, uh, the Open Rights Group, Privacy International, Access Now, Panopticon, DFF, uh, <laughs> not an EDRI member, but TACD, everyone is telling me a name, so if you have more names, please. Uh, but I know they wouldn't be uh, an edgy without you, and they wouldn't be um, a privacy camp either. Um, and beyond setting up like this original digital rights org, I know you went on to think about more issues and how they relate to the state of democracy uh, globally and all of the work you've done in the recent years as well to bringing more actors and to really enlarge these topics about technology. Thank you so much for being really committed to the cause and for being a true ally. Um, so, yeah, this is a tribute. Anybody wants to say something? It's quite overwhelming. Thank you, Claire, and thank you, everybody. It's just been truly, truly amazing. Um, Basically, I was, you know, as I'm here, I was thinking, when did I come first across Edry? Do you mind? This makes so much sense. <laughs> Thank you. And it was in, if I remember correctly, I'll be short. I know the drinks are waiting. <laughs> but uh, it was, I think, in 2002 when I first uh, joined OSF. And I have a, had a bit of a budget. I built my own Excel sheet so I would know where the money goes. And I'm like, I told myself I need to educate myself about the space. I better know what I'm doing here. And this is when I came across the Edric Rum. And I said to myself, oh my God, these people actually know what they're talking about. I need to meet them. And so one of my very first grants out of OSF was to support the Edric Rum. The rest, of course, is history. and. Uh, all of this to say that I've really, what I know about technology, about tech policy, I've learned from you, from this community. And just want to thank you for all the generosity over the years in sharing. Also, I want to say one thing. I want to thank you for the trust, because I'm aware, being a funder, you come into every room and you bring lots of complicated power dynamics. Um, and I felt I was always allowed to be an activist, to be able to plot with you together. And for that, really, I will be endlessly grateful for. Lastly, most importantly, thank you for your work. It is uh, so very hard. It is relentless. It doesn't stop. It's many days, many nights, often. Um, but I think it's also worth thinking what we have achieved in these 20 years and, you know, my sense is the world is really looking to work Europe for how we're trying to govern technology for communities, for societies. But all of us here, and I think that's why we're here, also know so much more work lies ahead. But I'm just 
so hopeful because I see this community being so dedicated, sophisticated. Importantly, it's growing and it is changing. And that really is what gives me the hope. Tom, we were saying over lunch, what makes a good activist? Uh, that is making the impossible possible. So here's to that and here's to all of you. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Claire. Thank you. Thank you so much. And with those words, we would, of course, like to thank you, because you are part of this community. And the Edrigram that Vera was mentioning is written by many of you from many of your insights. Um, I think today you've been an extremely active audience. Um, I heard a lot of people that have seen, that had a lot to comment, good and bad, which is great, about the sessions that they've seen. So I hope that it was a fruitful, um, juicy conversation that you've experienced as a whole day. We would like to uh, invite you to enjoy the food for thought and the drinks for the body and soul over there starting from now and see you next year. Thank you. Thank you.